Are you ready? I'm ready. It's been fun, huh? I've been training at Boulder Circus Center in Colorado, in Boulder, Colorado. Um, I drove my Lyra here. Uh, it took 17 hours of driving from California, but I'd go anywhere with my Lyra. Are you ready to put together what we've been working on? Let's do it. Oh yeah. Well, it wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't make things awkward. So here is a nice, juicy hit sequence for you. Hello, so my name is Kate, and for those that don't know me, I am currently having a love affair with my Lyra. I am in beautiful Boulder, Colorado, and I thought I would share just sort of clips with you on how I would train, you know, by myself under somewhat normal circumstances. I say somewhat normal because we are in the middle of a pandemic and a lot of gyms are shut down. So you'll see that I'm in a mask and um, I trained in a mask the entire time I was there. Now I'm not originally from Colorado, I have family there, and so what I did was I called them, I called Boulder Circus Center ahead of time and asked them if I could rent their space as they weren't offering classes at this point in time. And so I was able to hang my own apparatus and rent the space for them, from them. I trained approximately four days, and so I thought I'd highlight some of my fails, my successes, and just some stuff I've been working on. To be completely honest with you, this pandemic has caused me to find motivation within myself rather than relying on a community and you know overnight my gym shut down I was no longer able to teach at the capacity I was teaching and so I've been having a lack of motivation to maintain my practice and to learn new things but that being said I've also had to get creative in how I keep myself safe when learning new moves or learning or revisiting stuff that terrifies me you know under normal circumstances i would have people there or you know my training partner there to spot me or walk me through stuff and i've had to get creative on how to keep myself safe so here i wanted to show you what i came up with my lira is low i have a mat underneath me and I tied a resistance band around the span set. And my goal was to teach myself this pose called the seated layback that my partner does extremely well. And it's always terrified me. So without having a spotter there, I decided to use a resistance band and walk my hands down. It ended up causing me more trouble than necessary. I don't even think I used it. No, I didn't even use it. I just got scared and went down. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it this time. Nope. And here's when I really miss my spotter. And of course I have to get my foot stuck. <laughs> But you know, after perseverance and getting over the fear of it, because I know I had the strength, I just was scared of leaning fully back, I was able to nail it and I was proud of myself. I also took a dance break and learning how to dance via Zoom online classes, which is just weird. 
I was taking dance classes at the college and having a group and then you know we had to switch to online and that was really weird for me to have to learn in a smaller space and also learn online where I couldn't ask as many questions but I think I pulled it off pretty well just sitting in my lira trying to think of what to do and what to work on and something that happened was I would notice I couldn't do certain moves and I had to experience with hand placement and I had no one to help correct me and I could do the moves on the floor but it wouldn't translate to the hoop and so I had a I had I was struggling but I still did it And then I think on day three, I was trying to piece together some semblance of a choreography instead of conditioning or just practicing poses that I wanted to master. I rented this space for two hour chunks and it was hard for me. Oh, there, see, I nailed it. And no one was there to see. Anyway, um, I had to be my own cheerleader. And that was a little more difficult than usual. And then here's that seated layback that I mastered and unlocked. I was so proud of myself because after doing Lyra for three or more years, this move always terrified me and it's in it's in my nose as a basic pose but for some reason scary now for those of you that do aerial let me know if you have any moves that you still haven't unlocked that are just terrifying and of course of course of course I had to get my meat hooks in because meat hooks shape the core they give you those washboard abs and it's just an overall power move, and I love a good meat hook. Do your heel knee squeezes too, always good. You know, even though I've been lacking inspiration of what to choreograph, I've still been maintaining conditioning because when I do get back on the hoop or feel motivated to choreograph something, I don't want to have lost strength. And my perfect meat hook. Oh, I was so proud of my straight legs. <laughs> Because I had no one to talk to, I choreographed this with the help of my Lyra. I always have a journal with me, and I seriously talk to my Lyra as if it were a person. And here is the little piece I choreographed for you. So this is on the last day of my Boulder, Colorado um, training extravaganza. And I figured it deserved some closure. So I put together this little ditty. Hopefully you guys enjoy it.
So I, I just wanted to make this video to show you that the stuff that you see on Instagram or stuff that's posted on YouTube that looks flawless, you know, there's a behind the scenes. We, you know, we struggle. We don't always have pointed toes. No matter how much we've been doing aerials, you know, the practice can look sloppy, but the performance can look clean. So don't worry about if, you know, your toes aren't pointed and you kind of mess up your hand placement when you're practicing, you can always nail it in the end and get more comfortable. I think I cleaned it up pretty nicely, but that's just me. Let me know what you think. Also, um, a question I got asked a lot during my training was, is it hard to wear a mask and train? Now, I'm from California, so I had to deal with a change in altitude and the first couple weeks in Colorado I got altitude sickness and then training with the mask made it a little harder so I just took easier an easier time on the Lyra. By day four I was able to spin upside down and wear my mask and have it be easy, breezy, beautiful. After I trained Every day I would, you know, disinfect the rope and disinfect the mats. And upon entering the building, I had to get my temperature checked. I had to um, wash my hands and I felt very safe here. And the people there were friendly, even though we were shut down and they weren't offering classes, I was still extremely blessed to have been able to train. And I end this beautiful sequence with a meat hook song. It's beautiful. Like all good adventures, mine came to an end. And let me tell you, I had one heck of a time trying to figure out how to get my Lyra back to California. I found a big box, I had to take it on a train through the airport, and carrying it was pretty much a workout. It was very expensive to check at the airport. I don't suggest doing it. Um, should I do it again? No. But I'm glad I did. I love my Lyra two trains and, and two planes. Pretty much go anywhere with it. Mobile. More planning on your sister's oh, part. Oh, Good oh. job for the panel. Thanks for watching. Let me know how you're handling the pandemic and your training. If you'd like to connect, well done. Feel free to find me on Instagram yeah. or shoot me a message. Back out slowly. Back out slowly. Training. That's how it's done.